Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, welcome back to another Friday at Giga Texas. It's the 30th of September, 2022. It's not just the end of the month, it's also the end of the quarter. And I know that everybody knows what that means for Tesla. A lot of activity. And we see some of that actually on the East Transport Yard today. And you'll see that in the video. But first, I also want to remind everybody that later tonight is Tesla's AI Day 2. Now, I know everybody's going to be looking for the Tesla bot and all of that, which is going to be great. But while you're watching, make sure you pay attention to some of the information we may get about the Cybertruck and what that may mean for Giga Texas as well. Hopefully, we'll get some good information. Another thing I want to kind of talk about today is a subject that a lot of people have asked about, and it has to do with the receiving docks at the main factory and also the number of trailers at the warehouse on wheels yard on the east side. Now, as you can see by this image, one of my Patreons, Tibor Palatka, has counted up on my previous videos shots of the warehouse and wheels yard that there were about 530 trailers both empty and full in the lot at that time and also near where the stamping machine section is and that there was another 130 empty spots in addition to those 530 trailers so we're talking well over 600 spaces for trailers not just the ones that are at the factory now another viewer of mine and my Patreon, Desi Doolin, talked about there are 58 receiving docks now on the east side of the building and some of these have been recently added and there's another 70 on the west side so there's a total of 128 receiving docks at the main building right now. And that may surprise people because most seem to think that there's a lot less than that but there's still quite a few. And then finally, one of my YouTube viewers, Dwayne Shi, has said that he counted up the most trailers at any given time so far at the factory and docked up at the receiving docks. The maximum was, one, was 55, and that's 55 out of the 128. Now today, we may be giving that a run for the money as we fly through the west side and the east side take a look at how many trailers are attached to the building today one other thing I want to show and it just kind of highlights the speed of progress here is you just saw some of the images of the warehouse on wheels as it looked two days ago take a look at this image this is from today not only are there more trailers but the entire yard has expanded further to the south it's just amazing to see the progress here. So we're going to go into the video, a lot of uh, narrative, a lot of information to see. You're going to see a lot of progress and major changes up at the electrical substation, as you can see with this image. And we'll get into that in the video in detail. Also, a lot of changes up at the battery cathode plant, too, with a lot of progress, as you can see in this image as well. And we'll see many other sites that are of interest today in the video. So have a good weekend. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy AI Day 2 later tonight, and have a great weekend. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas. Well, it's Tesla's AI day number two today, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a lot to see here at Giga Texas. Now you'll see there's some changes on this south concrete lot. We'll come back to look at those in depth a little bit later. But first, notice that these vehicles that have been parked here for a while are starting to be moved off to the east side for transport. And we'll follow up on that a little later in the video. Also, in this section here where the concrete has been removed, it looks like crews are getting ready to finish off this small triangular section nearest to the building. Uh, you can see them uh, getting out of the truck and getting ready to uh, have this uh, large jackhammer get back into work to finish up uh, breaking up the concrete for removal. We can also see that the painting on the southwest corner really hasn't changed much in the last uh, week or so, so maybe it is a test or a sample, and we'll see what they decide. I'm going to show you just the 
uh, seven uh, new receiving doors here. You can see that the doors are installed. Most of them are down. This one, where the workers are, they're getting ready to install more of the load levelers, and that'll finish off this particular section. Also, as we talked in the intro, there's a lot of trailers at the actual factory now in many of these brand new receiving docks, in addition to the ones that were created initially. And you can see that the activity level is definitely picking up. I also noticed that these sort of uh, metal racks have been put here. It's probably going to be moved inside for some of the construction work that's ongoing for General Assembly Lines 2 and 3, which are being built inside that particular section of the building. Now, as we approach the main doors, we can see that uh, the temporary ramps are still there. The doors are still covered with that red and white for protection. But we also see there's a fence now uh, erected on that landing of the stairs. And this just shows that there's a lot more construction going on on the inside of this particular section of the building. I wish we could see inside to find out what it is, but uh, they clearly want to make sure that the doors, the glass doors, are protected. I'm also going to show you the continued landscaping that is going on right across the road into this uh, place where they added in that uh, concrete wall into the berm. And from that altitude, kind of get an idea of what it may look like from the ground level. And I'm going to pull up to give you the overall view of what is going on here. You can see many of the trees have been planted on the west side of that uh, concrete wall, and they're planting some more right in front of it. So this continues to develop. So I'm going to pull away and we'll go take a look at the work on the roof section of the body in white next. As we fly over some of the solar panels, we can see that the section of roof that they have been working on here is continuing to develop and it looks like they have some of the rack mounts being installed over the uh, steel uh, beams of the roof here where it's been uh, removed. And I think this is in preparation to install those HVAC ducts. And underneath that area, uh, in the last uh, year or so, they have installed a, quite a bit of HVAC equipment. It looks like it is now getting ready to come online. So you can kind of see how the solar panels look on the roof from this angle with the sun just rising behind the drone. And also, I wanted to show you all of these receiving docks on this side of the building. Many of them are already being used by trailers, as you can see, and some of the new ones that have been installed recently on the right-hand side of the screen, those four, and then these ten are very near to being completed. And you can see the concrete ramp around these, these ten doors is pretty much completed as well. We also see quite a bit of work going on at this temporary loading ramp with a lot more materials prepared to be uh, hoisted up with that crane. And we also see uh, quite a bit of the AIDA uh, stamping machine or metal press parts arranged right here on the east side of the stamping machine structure. That's in the blue uh, covered crates and also the green and blue covered equipment uh, that are on those uh, sort of the railing or racking system right next to the uh, wall. These will be moved into that stamping extension structure pretty soon. And uh, all of these will make a very large machine once they are all installed. You can also see on the left-hand side of the screen how all of the trailers have been removed from that uh, material storage lot where the uh, trucks are driving. And uh, it looks like that's continuing to be uh, prepared for uh, future use. Now what you can see here, this is a cross cut or a saw cut section of the concrete lot. It looks like it's being prepared for demolition work next. And that's what all that sort of powdery uh, material looks like. You can see that many of the cars that were parked here over the last uh, 48 hours have been removed and moved to the east side. You can also see another section here where it looks like they may be cutting out the concrete, getting ready for uh, continued demolition of the concrete here. And again, you can see that large section off to the left of where they've been working up to this point. Over here, the uh, two doors on the right is the stamping extension where the AIDA 
equipment that we talked about earlier will be installed. And you can see here some of the activity at this uh, temporary, I mean the ramp, the loading ramp going into the south side of the General Assembly. Looks like there's some crates being prepared to be lifted up into that uh, platform. I'm going to pull away to give you an overall view of the entire south side and also the steel storage and material yard just on the south side of the pond. As we fly along the Colorado River towards the east, you can see that horizontal drilling operation looks like they are wrapping it up and getting ready to move the drill and some of the other equipment away. In this section, you can see two roads, one uh, just underneath the drone and then the new one that they are installing. And this may be where the eco paradise that's going to be constructed for the public, at least part of it will be uh, in installed at some point. I want to show you this particular storage lot. Now, they used to have a lot of trailers here as part of a temporary movement from the warehouse on wheels on the east side. As you can see, all the trailers have now been removed. And in addition to that, we see a drilling operation going on here. Again, this is for core sampling to test the strength of the soil. This kind of suggests that we're going to see some sort of construction in this location in the near future, potentially. So another interesting development, as always, lots going on here at Giga Texas. We're going to continue to fly off to the east. We'll go over this uh, area where a lot of the dirt is, looks like they're continuing to pour it back in for temporary storage for use in construction at some future date. And also, we can kind of reveal some of the changes that are going on here on the east side uh, and particularly that warehouse and wheels. You can see how it is expanding to the south and we'll get a better view of that a little bit later in the uh, video. Right underneath the drone is the new location for materials, trailers, and workshops and this continues to grow as more materials are relocated from other parts of the east side. And from this vantage point you get a pretty good view of the east side and the warehouse on wheels and the battery cathode off to the right. Now we are well east of the Colorado River and I will position the drone to give you a look at the entire east side from this vantage point. And also what I want to show you is where the proposed boring tunnel will have its exit and where it will enter near where the battery cathode plant is. Now here we're on what I call a little bit of an island. It's just a stretch of land that's mostly uh, wrapped around with the Colorado River and right here at the bottom of the screen is where the proposed exit of the boring company tunnel will eventually be. And now I'm going to fly back along the path that the tunnel would take. It would be under this area under the Colorado River and then it will exit uh, right on the other side of the trees where you see these trailers and some of the material. Now what's Interesting is just how this will develop and when we will see the boring tunnel uh, operations begin. Another interesting thing to note is this kind of trailers with all of these cooling units. We were watching the foundation being made. It's sort of a temporary foundation. Uh, had a lot of dirt in and now it looks like they're using old wall panels for the flooring at least closer to the drone and then these trailers have quite a bit of cooling units. Now there's some speculation that that may be related to the boring company operations. I cannot say if that is the case, but it is definitely something worth watching. You can also see where that is in relation to the battery cathode plant. Now there's a lot to see as always, a lot of progress. So we'll start here and work our way to the north. One thing is very clear is the number of wall panels uh, being installed is definitely accelerating. And here you can see crews installing yet another wall panel. Now what's interesting is it looks like they have those skinny panels uh, just underneath the top panel. 
And what they're doing here is they're installing the panels in such a way so that the top panel extends over the edge of the roof by about three feet or so. And that'll be where the transition between the roof membrane and the wall will be made to seal off that for the elements. We're going to continue to fly up the east side towards the north and I'll try to give you some good views inside the building using the light to my advantage. Now this gives you a really good view of all three of the floors. You can see quite a bit of materials are being loaded into all three of the floors. A lot of the concrete work is now completed in this section as well and a lot of the interior walls have been installed or continue to be installed. As we approach these three very heavy uh, foundations, it looks like the rework is having them dig deeper. So I don't know if there was a soil analysis that said that they needed to have stronger foundations or if there's somewhat of a change, but this explains why the weatherproof or the moisture bearing that we have seen has been removed so that they can do rework. Now in this large section of ground slab has now been poured. In fact, they're actively pouring the last parts of it here on the north. When we get on the other side, I'll be able to show you the pump truck that's doing it. But once again, very rapid progress on getting the slab work completed on the ground floor. Here we see in the clearing area new trailers being added and what looks like some workshops potentially. And overall, we just see a general reshaping and preparing this section of the construction site for future work at some point. You can also see off to the north that big rectangular section, uh, the grass section, and also up to the farther north. All of that still is Giga Texas property. Now what we're showing you here is this is the equipment rental lot that was repositioned up in this location a few months ago. It looks like it's uh, still uh, operational and a lot of equipment ready for use around the factory and also the fact that it is up here does suggest that we will see some sort of construction nearby in the near future. I'm going to return back over the clearing uh, that uh, is being worked on here. Again they're filling in some of the ponds you can see on the right hand side of the screen. They're working on some of the grade in the middle and as we approach the center section here. I'm not sure if they are preparing this for construction, if they're just removing dirt or what, but uh, it's a new development. You can see the bulldozer and the excavator working pretty heavily in this particular part of this site. We're going to continue back towards the battery cathode plant to take a look at the west side. And while we do that, you can see the north end here with all the trailers and equipment is continuing to change and uh, uh, more modify over time. Now here you can see the pump truck and one of the cement trucks fe feeding concrete into it. And they are pouring the last parts of that large section of concrete slab on the first floor. And with the amount of rebar in there, that's a very heavily reinforced slab probably some heavy equipment. You can see the two temporary loading platforms on the left hand side and on the right hand side more excavation work and preparation of the overall ground in this section. Now here we see what looks like the beginnings of form work for a concrete apron around this manifold section. And again, I think this is where we're going to see some of the large tanks stored on the west side of the highway moved at some point in the future. You can see the wall installation continues here. Looks like maybe some small windows on the second floor and only a couple of doorways as well. And this gives you another view of that earthwork right off to the right hand side of the screen and how it is continuing to develop. Let's head over to the Warehouse on Wheels and take a close look at some of the action there today. I'm going to bring the drone in a little bit lower than normal just so you can get a view of how all of these trailers appear today. And just with the numbers that we talked about in the intro, the more than 500 trailers and spot for more than 600 of them is really incredible. And here you can see some of the trailers that are open. They've already had some of the materials removed. We can also see a lot of these crates stacked nearby. And these are just on the other side of the fence, so they're not really part of the warehouse and wheels. 
but it is uh, something that it looks like the crews are actively working on. Some of the components were covered in that uh, sort of that uh, aluminum looking wrapping, so hard to tell exactly what they are. Now this part of the warehouse and wheels has just recently been expanded. You can see some of the preparation work is continuing, but the crews are also putting out some curbs to line up where the trailers will be uh, put next. Also the fence has been extended around this particular part of the warehouse on wheels. And this is a good view overall of just how this has reshaped over the last uh, 48 hours actually, believe it or not. So we can see some more work in this section on the ground, kind of reconfiguring the entrance and also a roadway around the warehouse on wheels. And I wanted to give you a good view of this new car staging and transportation lot. It's much more active today, a lot more of the vehicles, and we see many trucks picking up Model Ys. And this may be related to the end of the quarter uh, push and also suggest that they're returning back to using this as their primary vehicle staging and pickup location. As we approach the electrical substation construction site, many details and changes. First, you can see this clearing area. I don't know if this is going to be a parking lot or material storage or maybe a construction site. Something more to continue to monitor. Now you can see some of the components off to the left of the screen and a lot of these concrete pipes. But the main deal today that I want to show you is the changes on the graded area of the construction site. And there are a lot. So I'm going to show you these in detail. I want to bring the drone down a little bit lower and as we fly over these uh, steel structures on the ground here, these are part of what will be the uh, bracing and uh, the electrical connections for the uh, substation. Here we see two large excavations. We'll probably see concrete added in this section as well. The bottom of the screen, uh, just going off to the left hand side, we can see some more components and maybe some electrical components as well for the uh, substation. In the water detention pond here, you can see crews finishing up a inlet to the pipe on the south end. There's a matching one on the north end as well. Where we saw the concrete slab poured a couple of days ago, now they're erecting this structure. And it'll be interesting to see what this is. It's a very heavily uh, reinforced structure. But again, there was no utilities going into it, so not sure exactly what that is. It's definitely worth monitoring. The drill is idle today, but you get a pretty good idea of what it looks like. And then in this section, I think they've already drilled all these holes. They're using the wooden forms that we saw being built in the last video to pour concrete. And these will be mounts for poles associated with the electrical substation installation. Some of those poles you'll see coming right here on the right hand side of the screen. And I expect to see those mounted onto these square mounts in the near future, certainly at the rate that they're going. Also here you can see crews building rebar cages for future holes that are going to be dug by that big drill and that will be helping to support the uh, poles that are mounted onto those concrete mounts once they are poured. So again, a lot of activity now at this uh, construction site. On the north end, the four large circular mounts for the very large steel power poles uh, seem to be mostly completed, one more with a little bit of work to, by those uh, white and blue trailers. But overall, most of the activity now is back on the main graded site. And I'm going to give you a good view here, not only at this altitude, but I'll bring the drone up just to give you an overall view of how this entire section is transforming and all of the activity that is going on here at the electrical substation section of this construction site. Now on the right hand side in that triangular section, this is eventually when they get back to work on this area will be where the Megapack battery electric storage system is installed. But it looks like right now it's the primary uh, electrical substation that is the priority. Now I'll fly along down closer to the ground along this section just so you can get an idea of how this appears and we'll approach the north end of the main factory. First thing I want to show you here is a good view of the plumbing work that is continuing between the parking lot and the road. 
And you can see here how this area continues to transform. It looks like there's some gravel on the left-hand side that will be used, some large uh, holes that have been dug, and that's for some of the plumbing installation. And you can see here a large sort of a underground manifold with uh, some pretty large white uh, water pipes. Now, I don't know if these are for uh, just regular plumbing going into the building uh, or, or what they're for, but it's definitely something that has been a lot of rework in the recent uh, past and continues today. Now, here you can see uh, the activity at the north end of the paint shop. And what actually has changed is quite a bit of the uh, components, materials that were arrayed out here have been moved inside and the fences have been relocated just a little bit, it seems to me. There's actually a lot less materials on the outside waiting for movement inside today. Um, you can also see here on this platform, workers are gathering around some equipment that has just been delivered. And I'll try to give you a little bit closer view of this. I, I don't know what it is that was delivered, but you can see them in the sort of that wooden crates. And you can get a little bit of glimpse inside as well. But overall, much of the equipment that has been delivered here over the last uh, several weeks, it looks like it's making its way inside the building. Not uh, a lot of work going on at the moment on these two platforms for the 4680 production site, but I will show you a current view of what's going on with the HVAC ducting and the enclosures that are under construction here. It looks like the sixth one now is starting to be assembled right in the middle of the picture and just one more to go on the left of that as well. So for today I'll do a large pullback and go to a higher altitude uh, heading off to the east so I can reveal quite a bit of the activity going on at Giga Texas today and yes in the far background you can see the downtown uh, city of uh, Austin and also some of the land on the other side of the Central Highway that is part of Giga Texas as well. In the foreground you can see the east side the parking lot, the loading and transportation lot, the warehouse on wheels and how that has continued to change the new section here on the left hand side where more materials, trailers, and workshops are being moved and just generally how the entire east side appears. I hope you have a great weekend. Again, thank you very much for watching and make sure you check out AI Day number two later today.